Alright, so the question is, what's the best thing about Winnipeg? Like, is it the exchange? Is it the Manitoba Museum? The Winnipeg Art Gallery? Call... Seatbelt. Seatbelt. Seriously? While I'm driving. Happy? Not for a while. Admit that we don't know what we're doing. Admit that we don't know where we're going. Admit we're the same and we're lost in outer space. Admit, do I need a message? Do I need a reason to talk to you? We're almost done. Now that we've taken care of the family side of your division of assets, we can start looking at options for business succession. Are you talking about selling the business? Dylan, we've been talking about this for a year. Morgan, don't you think Kate and I are rushing this? Morgan, the only time Dylan rushes is to get to the bathroom after six hours of playing video games. Well, at least I know how to have fun. Hey, Morgan, what do you do for fun? Oh, you're asking me. Well, I do rather enjoy giving financial advice. Morgan, you were saying something about options. Yes, one option is that you can sell your business. This consulting business is our dream. That's become a nightmare. Or one partner can sell your shares to the other. It's not cute anymore. Olivia needs a father, not a sibling. Are you trying to tell me that you want another baby? Like... Maybe we should reschedule. Uh, if you want it so bad, you can buy me out. Well, that's a great idea. Well, maybe you should start interacting with clients. Why don't you take that RBC Convention Center meeting tomorrow with Lonnie Chase? Fine. Great. Excellent advice, Morgan. I don't think Lonnie Chase liked me. Sounds terrible. Yeah. Not everybody here takes their butt. Yeah, but at least Sam and I hit it off. I don't. You're not even listening to me. Yes, I am. It's the, Sam. Sam the mayor. Or... No, Sam. Lonnie Chase's Red River College intern. Dylan Brady? Your wife's a legend around here. Ex-wife. We're separated. <laughs> Miss Chase is really looking forward to meeting with you. She's great. You're going to love her. The convention center, Red River College, downtown Winnipeg. <laughs> I'm in love with the whole thing. You know, I've never been this far away from home before. Oh yeah, where are you from? St. Patel. Mr. Dylan Brady to see you. Thanks for seeing me. Oh. So, I see you're getting bigger. <laughs> Pardon me? No, no, no. What I meant to is you're expanding your front end. Mr. Brady, I presume you're referring to the expansion of our world-class facility? Yes, yes. And I would really like to handle your assets. Where's Kate? <sighs> oh, that sounds heartbreaking. That just, that just makes me want to go to sleep right here. What? My nap at work was interrupted today. Is anybody here? Excuse me. I am remiss. I'm sorry, I thought this was a display unit. Oh, it is! It is! Are you living here? Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually, I'm a stager. I'm, I'm uh, hired to make the interior more appealing. But then it hit me. Why not show them downtown living? Oh, hey, hey, boss, toilet's plug. Oh, God. Nope, just me. Easy mistake. How are you, Dylan? How are you, Duke? Aren't you going to introduce me to this woman of a certain age? This is my sister, Julia. Julia, you remember Duke Ward? We went to school together. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. You had that metal hair, right? Wrong guy. 
didn't you have a, you had an eye patch. Like, like I mean, not like a pirate, but it was like just uh -huh. a bunch of gauze wadded in there. <laughs> yeah. I had a lazy eye. People change, Dylan. They grow. They learn. They make plans. <laughs> yeah, he's right. I can change. I can change too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I need a plan. I need you to pay for my drink. Okay. And my rent. Hi, Duke. No, it's not too late at all. One day, I could be better than this. You'd say, pack all your bags and I'll miss this place for a moment in time. My eyes move to the back of my mind.